Organizations are using Azure to unlock the potential of advanced workloads, or they may be using it to form part of a transformation project where they have to relocate from a data center or change the way that they are working. Joseph Rowntree Foundation and the Housing Trust are now set up in, in almost two completely different lines of business. So we have to have a, an IT solution that will marry both of them. Azure is really the main choice for a lot of our public sector customers because they have that relationship with Microsoft. They feel more comfortable using the Microsoft platform. Uh, they've already heavily invested in Microsoft technology and the rate that Microsoft are investing in Azure seems to be ahead of its competitors. The future for the public sector is going to be complicated given the amount of challenges that the, the, the sector is facing but that also creates an opportunity for innovation and doing things differently. We'd already identified that certain applications and back office systems were becoming out of date. Also, the way the infrastructure was set up, it didn't help us move forward. So we needed something that was secure and stabilised and simplified, uh, and really a platform that would allow us to, to grow. And, and Azure fitted that bill 100%. A lot of our customers are facing the challenge of fear. Uh, it's an unknown platform, they're not used to it. Uh, there's a lot of hype in the market around cloud. For me, and, and talking to the customers, it's really that fear of the unknown. I think the fear is, is that these things are being put in place to replace people. And that's not really the case. What they're putting in place for is to help enable the people that you do have to do so much more. And rather than your staff doing maintenance, which is 70, 80% of their time, it frees them up. Even 20% will make a huge difference within the organization to offer new innovation for new projects, new ideas, things that you never thought of before. And in some cases, attract new customers and new clients into your environment. The good thing about moving to a cloud platform such as Azure is that flexibility um, to adapt to change no matter what the circumstances are. And I think with the right support and the right mindset, the benefits of moving to Azure go from a cost perspective, an innovation perspective, and staying current no matter what the challenges of the future of modern public sector hold, um, it's a great position to be in. Cost cutting was not the key driver, but it has become one of the outcomes of what we're moving to. Um, Roughly, there's a 50% saving in our current expenditure by moving to the cloud, so we get more for, for less. So for every thousand pounds we spend in, in IT, that's potentially two weeks worth of people being within um, one of our care homes. So the more effective we are at spending our cash, then the better it is for, for the, the community as well. I think the biggest thing that we can do with our customers is be that trusted advisor. If they trust you as an advisor, it makes that transition much easier because they're willing to make that jump. You know, it's being honest with the customer, it's challenging them on the way that they think about things today to try new things, to try out the cloud, to try out these different aspects. So we've got programs like Surveyor 360, we've got Azure Fundamentals, we work with Microsoft to offer some programs, and what that is is to give you an idea of what, you, what you've got today. There is a lot of talk around AI, chatbots, and machine learning. I think what we're trying to identify and help public sector organisations realise is some of the real practical uses of these technologies. Something as simple as being able to use a virtual agent to cut down on the number of calls or interactions a human has to make so you can free their time up to do something that's going to be more impactful to the customer. Machine learning has lots and lots of potential, lots of opportunities, and we're seeing that being quite successful users where we're starting to pull data together from across the public sector. How can we start to draw outcomes and insights from the data that they collectively share using the power of the cloud? I think the concept of the cloud is becoming more and more commonplace. We as consumers are using cloud technology a lot more in our own homes. That's gonna to translate to business as well, that consumerization of IT. And so that really makes sense when I go to work that I have the same environment that I have when I'm at home.